In this tutorial, you will learn to approve calibration changes in VCDM Center. To import files, it is mandatory to have an existing project and permissions thereof. This video is intended for calibration engineers. The process in VCDM is defined as follows. Deliver your calibration changes to VCDM. Approve the changes for datasets using the feature Merge. Import again or generate a new version of your hex file. The VCDM validation framework checks the imported data. It ensures the compliance to the A2L. The completeness of import is validated. Parameters can be validated by rules or calculated. VCDM can monitor classified parameters. In this example, we perform a manual merge. It's also possible to configure an immediate merge when importing calibrations. It is mandatory to have merge permissions with the datasets. In the previous video, we imported files into VCDM. Within the dashboard, you can see the changed values. Unmerged files are marked in red. Select the dataset. Within the dashboard parameter values, you can see the latest value and calibration state. Select the ribbon Calibration Merge. Based on your selection in the Project Explorer, there's just a single or several files within a dataset or several datasets merged at once. If configured, you get the dialog Review Changes in Dataset. Check the values. In case of problems, you can reject files or even single out parameter values. Start the merge with Finish. The approved values are now available in the calibrated content of your dataset. Import and merge of calibrations can be performed several times as long as the dataset is in edit mode. As a next step, you can freeze the dataset and update your hex file. Afterwards, it's possible to create revisions, versions, or perform a software change based on your needs. For more information, please watch the tutorial Perform Software Change.